Well, hey folks, look at what we woke up to this morning. No, it's mid-May. This is not supposed to happen. The other day I was talking about the bug repellent and somebody asked me, so what bug repellent works the best for you? And I said, snow. But I was kidding. Wake up and we got all of this out here. Unbelievable. It really changes your outlook or your direction. Because yesterday I worked on the stone wall all day, fired up the barbecue, had a little bit of summertime food, you know. And now the wood stove's burning and we're firing up a pot of soup. <laughs> anyway, it'll melt. The sun will be back out. My video on Sunday, I showed you the gas tank that I'm going to refurbish. And a lot of people pretty much guessed where I was going with it. But some of you had some really good ideas too. So I'm going to take that out and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. I just want to throw this little update out for you. Real quick video. <laughs> show you what we got going on up here. huh? <laughs> Life on the mountain. <laughs> Okay, I was going to hold off until the project was underway, but I've got so many people asking what I'm going to do, and they're making guesses and giving suggestions that I go, I'm going to go ahead and just show you what I'm going to do, because you might have some ideas that are beneficial, and I can put them into my game here. Okay, um, some of you are guessing a charcoal grill. Well, that's the line in line with what I'm going to do. Some of you even said to cut the top off and use it on the rack of my quad. And that was brilliant because this is a heavy duty rig right here. But I have a basket already for my, for my front rack of my quad. It's just at the other cab and I got to go get it. So, well, my intentions are for this. All right. When I saw it in the woods, right away, I thought of my Dutch ovens. Because a lot of times I put my Dutch oven in a cut barrel because I do this a lot in the winter time and that keeps the heat right around my oven here. So when I saw this I go you know I bet you that'll hold two of my Dutch ovens and check this out. All right. I cut the top off, I put coals in there, I, it looks like two of my ovens will sit right in there. All right. So it'll be just like a nice little heat chamber for my Dutch ovens. I'm also going to have it so I can just put a grill on here because that's a nice wide grill. All right. Years ago, a friend of mine made me these. These are the pound in the ground on each side of my campfire and run a spit across here. So I'm going to hook a piece of pipe section of pipe, maybe with a couple of U-bolts or something, just a short piece of pipe right here that these will slide into, all right? So then they're there on each side of my grill. I have an electric rotisserie that's about that length. Just hook at the battery power. I bet you I could have three chickens in a row rotisserieing when we have friends over, huh? I'm also gonna put some legs on it. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with that yet, but probably just bend some electrical conduit, hook it up, just so it's up off the ground a little ways. Yeah, I think it's gonna be slick. I might even have a piece of steel cut to fit over one section so I could be grilling over here and maybe have a griddle or a fry pan or something cooking here. That way my pan's not getting all sooty from the fire, you know? So I could be grilling a ham steak and frying some eggs over here. If you ever had a ham steak, cook it on the grill. That's the, well, that's the best. So that's my plan. And if you get any brilliant ideas that you want to share, Put them in the comment section. 
and uh, we'll see what we come up with. One thing that I'm looking forward to with this, and I wish I had this a month ago. I spent a lot of time burning brush, and I see all those hot coals, you know, big mountain of hot coals. Just scoop some out with the shovel, throw them right in here, put the Dutch ovens in there. Be having some wings and whatnot out there, so burning brush. <laughs> be fantastic. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to getting this together. But even more so, I'm looking forward to using it. <laughs> so I'll show you what else we got going on over here. <laughs> we were getting set up yesterday to get started on those big pines. Got to come along, set up, but then the wind kicked up. Decided to wait. So we get another day, probably the very early morning, you know, right at dawn seems to be the calmest time of the day. We'll start taking these pines down. Yeah. That'll be interesting. But I'm anxious to get those down. Once those are on the ground, we can get started moving forward with the rest of the projects because where those projects are going to go are where the pines are going to land. So, <laughs> first things first. All right, so just want to give you guys a little update, answer the questions about the grill, <laughs> and we'll pick back up on Sunday. All the best, and God bless. Frank and the boss out walking in the woods, living life happy and free. Tracks in the snow everywhere they go, there's a pokey way up in that tree. A beaver built a pond where they have some fun, taking life a day at a time. Best friends until the end, Frankie and the boss, Frankie and the boss, Frankie and the boss.